For anyone who's viewed the night sky through a telescope or simply gazed upwards, the universe holds more mysteries than we could ever possibly resolve in one sitting. Luckily for you, the Hub has uncovered strange and exciting details about the space around us to answer some of your burning questions. Here are 10 mind-blowing facts about the universe you didn't know. And don't forget to click on the Hub's subscribe button before you take off. Like the all-knowing monolith from 2001 A Space Odyssey, this intergalactic rectangle will lead you into a wormhole of knowledge about Earth and beyond. The universe is old. If you're watching this, you may not be that old. In the grand scheme of things, even an elderly human is still a gleam in the universe's eye. But the plane of existence in which we reside is widely believed to be 13.8 billion years old, give or take 59 million years. The average human would have to live 174.7 million lifetimes to be as ancient as the Big Bang. Scientists came to that number by measuring the rate at which celestial objects were traveling and reviewing the cosmic microwave background of radiation left over by the Big Bang, which is basically the static you'd find between TV channels while changing to the Big Bang Theory on CVS. But if you really get down to it, since we're all made of elements and chemicals produced by the biggest of bangs, we're essentially as old as time itself. And might we say, we look pretty great for our age. There's barely a wrinkle in time. Join the dark side, black holes. Speaking of wrinkles in time, the universe is chock full of them, or rather, full of black holes. Many of these inescapable whirlpools are millions of times the mass of our own sun and are so dense not even light can escape their gravitational pull. The entrance to the hole is called the event horizon, and although black holes have never been photographed, we've seen the tuggings of other objects caught in the grips of these interstellar monsters. If you were to be pulled towards a black hole and pass through its event horizon, you'd appear to be frozen in time, like someone pressing pause on a remote. As you got closer to the hole, the outside viewer would perceive you as turning redder and redder and moving slower and slower until you stopped altogether. At this point, time would seem to halt and you would appear to be trapped forever on the surface, melding with the other energy stuck there. So bring a good book and get comfortable. Check for a pulsar. Or you can entertain yourself by watching an alien dance party pounding to the beat of their own pulsar. When a sun runs out of nuclear energy, the exterior layers are ejected into the surrounding space to create a nebula, and the remaining core is considered a white dwarf. A pulsar is a fast-spinning white dwarf, generally about the size of New York City, and just like the Big Apple, it never sleeps. With two shafts of light extending light years in opposite directions, it's constantly spinning to its own rhythm, with some pulsars known to rotate as fast as 700 times per second. Since a pulsar is leftover core material from a supernova, otherwise known as a neutron star, this super-powered orb fuels itself. Pulsars are so dense that according to NASA, if you were to scoop up a square inch block of this stuff, it would weigh about as much as Mount Everest. Wishful Space Drinking Elsewhere, there's a region of space only 6,500 light years away that could quench the thirst of the world's frat houses. Yes, scientists have discovered a massive floating cloud of alcohol. Even though it's 1,000 times larger than our own solar system, it's mostly poisonous methyl alcohol. Still, there's some ethyl alcohol within the cloud that would be drinkable if you had some kind of interstellar Brita filter. So once we're done with this pint, we'll have another quadrillion rounds for the table. Drake. Not that Drake. Whoever discovers alien life deserves their own party on the nearest alcohol cloud, but they would owe a lot to Frank Drake. In 1961, Drake devised a calculation in which the number of stars with intelligent civilizations must be equal to several strict interstellar variables. Called the Drake Equation, it determined the probability of advanced beings dwelling elsewhere in the cosmos. The equation has been a foundation for extraterrestrial research, even though it wasn't until 1995 that we officially discovered the first planet outside of our own solar system. More recently, scientists Manazi Lingam and Abraham Loeb discovered unexplained fast radio bursts of intense light coming from a deep corner of the galaxy that they believe to be artificial in origin. Based on what we know about the planets in our own galaxy, they gave a healthy estimate that there could be around 10,000 intelligent civilizations in the Milky Way. If so, the burst could be coming from an alien transmitter, or, spoiler alert, it could be Jodie Foster's dad from Contact. Ghost Planet. Speaking of anomalies, there's one in our own backyard that could change the way we view our solar system. First spotted in 2014, astronomers noticed that six objects in the frozen Kuiper belt on the far outskirts of our sun's orbit were all moving in the same direction, outside of the region's normal orbit. Some astronomers believe the best explanation for this is that there's an entirely new planet out there. It's believed to be the size of Neptune, making a regular orbit around the sun, 
and would be only the third new planet discovered in our solar system since ancient civilizations first mapped the sky. Diamonds are a planet's best friend. But forget our solar system, what about the planets beyond it? If you're looking for a more extravagant proposal than getting down on one knee or organizing a flash mob, you could try buying your significant other the planet known as 55 Cancri E. At only 40 light years away, this super Earth is believed to be made of diamond. While most recent research suggests it may have less of a carbon to oxygen ratio than previously thought, there's still a chance this planet could have a nearly indestructible surface, and like a diamond, it could be forever. Icy hot. In another location about 33.1 light years away is a planet just as shiny as a diamond. And you would think it was infinitely colder based on its frigid looking exterior. Also similar in size to Neptune and made entirely of frozen water, Gliese 436b is actually incredibly close to its sun and is believed to have a surface of ice that's burning hot. Nestled 11 times nearer to its planet star than Mercury is to our own sun, this solid giant is theorized to have a surface temperature of 439 degrees Celsius. That climate would instantly vaporize water on our world, but due to the mass of Gliese 436b and its proximity to its parent star, this hot ice stays solid. The world definitely isn't flat. While we're on the subject of crazy planets, let's talk about Earth. Now, we know it's definitely not flat, but it also isn't a perfect sphere. The inner composition of our planet isn't evenly distributed, and as a result, Earth's gravitational forces push and pull the surface in different directions. Logically, gravity pulls everything on Earth back towards the core, but say you were holding a yo-yo on the side of a hill. Depending on where on Earth you stood, it wouldn't always hang directly down at your feet. In some spots, it would hang at a slight and probably unnoticeable angle towards whichever center of gravity that location is oriented. Add wind patterns and temperature changes to the gravity conundrum, and you find water levels deeper or shallower than expected in many different locations around the globe. If we were to take gravity out of our Earth's physical makeup, we'd look more like a bumpy potato. But don't tell Earth. We don't want it to develop issues with its body image. That new space smell. In space, diamonds can be as common as dirt, ice can be as hot as fire, and according to NASA, airless voids can smell. Yes, to top it all off, space has an odor. You can't really take a whiff through your spacesuit if you went up there now, but when astronauts would return to the International Space Station after a long day's spacewalk, their tools and equipment would smell like a NASCAR race. Basically the sense of melted metal, gasoline, and grilled meats. This is due to the hydrocarbons found on stardust, moon dust, and everywhere in between, including the materials you would see on our own planet. So next time you visit the Indy 500, close your eyes, smell your surroundings, and imagine you're Neil Armstrong, taking one giant whiff for mankind. If you watch this, you might consider yourself a curious person, often thinking, why are we here? An equally interesting thought to ponder is, how are we here? Our existence came about through such a crazy set of chemical reactions and cosmic coincidences that it can overwhelm the mind. So let the hub help you process all of the wonders of the universe and continue watching for more videos about the wild world in which we live. Hope you enjoyed traveling through space with the hub and we'll see you on our next orbit.